Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to cover a bit of an introduction to AMD GPUs, uh, talk about the features and specs of the GPU, and show how to use it with Docker. Um, so let's get started. Um, first of all, uh, I'm working on a system with Rockem SMI available. That means that I've got eight of the MI300X GPUs in the system. Uh, as you can see here, device zero through device seven. Uh, what is an MI300X? If you're not familiar, um, I pulled up a, a nice post from Semi-Analysis that shows the basic specifications when compared to the H100 or H200. It's a general purpose GPU used for compute, like training AI models, running inference endpoints, prepping data, things like that. Uh, in here, uh, we can see that it's got power consumption uh, similar to both the H100 and the H200 GPU from NVIDIA. Uh, it's got significantly more memory capacity as well as memory bandwidth and theoretically it's got more flops. Um, we'll cover a little bit about that in a future video but for right now a lot of reasons why you might want to use an AMD GPU or at least try it out. So let's imagine that you have access to one of these systems. How would you actually get started? Well, first of all you need to install the drivers which you can see I've already done on this system here so we can work through this video. Um, AMD's got a quick start installation guide. The drivers are a package that's available through APT if you're using uh, Ubuntu, for example, anything with Debian packages here, um, and, and some other options for other operating systems with Linux. I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 on here, so I've got that install already done. Now, uh, a simple thing that people are curious about when they get started with GPUs is you know, how to get um, like Docker working. Uh, I've got Docker installed on here as well. And one thing you'll notice that's different between AMD GPUs and NVIDIA is that I don't need to install a specific runtime for Docker. I don't need to install the AMD container toolkit or equivalent compared to NVIDIA. Uh, in this case, um, all I'm gonna need to do is just run a container and then pass through some important environment variables to the container or some flags really. Uh, so I prepped some commands here and we'll run them one at a time. Basically the first thing that I'm going to do is run with uh, this container image rockm slash pytorch dash latest and then in that container I'm going to run rockm smi so equivalent of NVIDIA smi just print out the system management inf interface information. Um, and off we go. Now just covering what these flags do uh, we're adding the capability to trace the system logs. Um, we're also adding in uh, something specific here for memory mapping. It's recommended for HPC environments. I'm just doing it because why not? And then specifically two devices, KFD and DRI. DRI is the higher level device interface that all um, of the MI300X GPUs are mapped to on the uh, Linux system here on the file system. But one thing that people you know usually want to do is they want to restrict exactly which GPUs are available in the container. So I'm going to run another container here and in this case instead of using DRI high level I'm going to specifically use D184. And now that container that just ran is restricted to just having access to device zero on um, the system. Um, so, you know, in this case, that, that's an example of something I could run eight different inference endpoints on eight different GPUs using this restriction. Now you'll notice I've pulled up these uh, locations here because uh, as you make it used to working with AMD GPUs, the documentation is not perfect and it's going to call out um, that restricting GPU access is like a, a single increment going from 128 to 129. It's not, um, it's incrementing by some other value, like eight in between these, but not always. Um, yeah, always eight, increments of eight here. And so basically, instead of passing through just device 184, um, I'm gonna pass through 128, 136, 144, and 152 in my next command. And in this case, we should expect that we have just four GPUs there. So for the last thing, I'll just show an interactive container 
So I think this is probably what people are most interested in if you're getting started with these GPUs. Let's imagine I've got 184 and I run it with IT for interactive. Now I'm popped into this container. I've got Rock MSMI available. And in the next video, we're gonna start to see uh, working with some of these Python packages that are included in NVIDIA's container, specifically PyTorch. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, hope to talk to you in the next video.